Another helpful thing is the function to rotate images. To use it, load an image. Here's my sample image from the first part. And then select image and rotate. Or use the shortcut control R. You can resize it. So you have uh, one scroll bar. You see, you can scroll from minus 180 degree to plus 180 degree. Uh, it could be useful if you want to analyze uh, the grain size in another orientation. You can also type in an angle, maybe 25 degree, and you have uh, some different interpolation modes. You can try these, what's better for you, or have a look in the MATLAB help. The next setting you can do is how the size of the uh, rotated image should be. Uh, if you select whole image, then the new image would be uh, greater, uh, bigger than the original image. If you select cr uh, crop to original size, then you see uh, the pixel size of the original image stays the same to the rotated image. But that means that the edges are cutted. If you are ready, you can choose file and save and quit or cancel if you don't like to do it. So save and quit means that the rotated image will be loaded into the main surface and you can start your analysis.